When lighting interiors, we often use environment maps to create a natural look. The only issue is that this requires a lot of global illumination bounces to look good, and can significantly increase render times. We can avoid adding GI bounces by using portal lights instead. Portal lights act as a virtual window casting direct lighting into a room from the environment outside. They effectively give you one bounce of brute force global illumination for free. It works by sampling light color from the environment map shader or the custom environment shader parameter in the portal light. To add your environment map shader to your scene, open the render settings and under the Redshift Globals tab, drag the shader into the default environment field. I place two portal lights in this scene, one above the skylight and another just outside of the archways to the right of my camera. You can see in the before and after images that the portal light added a lot of soft, warm, natural lighting to the scene. The portal lights will only work if there's an environment map selected in the render settings or a dome light in the scene. In this example, I've turned off my dome light and removed the environment shader from the render settings. Now when I turn on my render view, there's no lighting at all. Alright, that was a brief overview on portal lights and their benefits when it comes to lighting interiors. If you found this video helpful, throw me a like down below and I'll see you in the next tutorial.